is we hear that we are sinners saved by grace. How many of you have heard that before? Yeah. We're yeah. sinners saved by grace. Yeah. Sinners saved by grace. So, so I have a problem with that because you produce what you are. So how, how many of you uh, saw the Super Bowl on Sunday? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, greatest comeback for us over time. Greatest comeback. <laughs> so who was the hero of it? Brady. Tom Brady. <laughs> so is Tom Brady, is he a winner or a loser? Winner. He's a winner. Mm -hmm. So Tom Brady is a winner, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So what if, what if he would have lost? He'd been whining at the press conference. <laughs> 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 He'd been whining. Would he be a winner or a loser? He'd be the loser. He's a loser. So the whole time he's a, <laughs> take a week from the wine. So we say so now we say Tom Brady's a winner, but let's say he plays two more years. Do you think he'll lose some games? Mm -hmm. Yes. In the yeah. two years to yeah. come? Mm -hmm. Alright, but he but he's a winner. He's thirty eight years old, yeah. He's a winner even though he's going to lose some games in the future. Mm -hmm. But he's still a winner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just because he's going to lose in the future doesn't make him a loser. He's a winner that sometimes loses. Yeah. So you could be a winner. If you've lost in the past, you're still a winner. You could, if you're winning, going to lose in the future, you're still a winner. Oh, okay. So winners sometimes lose, but a, winner does, but a loser accepts losing as normal. Mm -hmm. A winner doesn't accept winning as normal. So, so we sometimes sin, and we have sinned, and we will sin, but that doesn't mean I'm a sinner or that I accept sin as my normal state. So I think more that we're saints that sometimes fall, mm -hmm. because you become what you imagine yourself to be. If you define yourself as a sinner, then you're supposed to sin. That's what mm -hmm. sinners do. Mm -hmm. Sinner mm -hmm. sin. Mm -hmm. So it's like I think we need to stop labeling ourselves as sinners. Right. Because otherwise it's like a sinner is supposed to sin. A sinner right. is pretty much guaranteed to sin and that's what they expect. If a sinner sins, that's what they do. What you become is influenced by what you believe the most important person in your life thinks about you. So there's a person who is important in your life. What you think they think about you impacts you. So an example would be if your say your mother said oh, always called you a bad kid or your mother said hey called you lazy lazy and no good that's going to influence who you think about yourself and so you're going to label yourself as lazy and no good, or you're going to label yourself for, as if your mother called you, you know, your father called you a lazy bum, or your father called you a, you're going to label yourself as that, and then that's going to follow you around for the rest of your life. You know, you're going to have esteem problems because that's who they thought you were. And it's the same with, like, if you're in a relationship, if the person is always calling you uh, a cheater or always calling you... Uh, no good or whatever they're always calling you if that person is influencing your life then you're gonna hear that and you're gonna start to associate that with yourself well I'm gonna cheat because that's what they say I am right yeah, might as well mm -hmm. do it though we're calling you mm -hmm. yeah and you're thinking to yourself well I guess I am a mm -hmm. cheater and you define right. yourself for that so it's whoever is important in your life their opinion of you matters and so the goal is to get God's opinion of you to be the biggest the, the biggest opinion of you. But then the problem comes if you think God sees you as a sinner, then you're going to be a sinner. Well, God sees me as a sinner, so I'm a sinner. So if you think God God sees me like if so if your view of God is He's waiting. He's up in heaven waiting to punish you for every, <laughs> whenever you do something wrong. That's what a lot of people, I did something wrong, God's going to punish me. 
something bad happens in your life. This must be God punishing me. So, so it's, it's a subconscious thing that is like anything that happens, this is, must be God's punishment. Oh, I lost my job. Must be God punishing me. So you're thinking God is waiting to punish you. And, and it's because you're a sinner or because you think God views you this or you're, or God knows that I'm a this or God knows that I'm a that. And so you see God as you think that's God's opinion of you. So you're going to conform to that. So God thinks me, I'm a sinner. So I'm going to conform to a sinner because that's what God thinks of me. God's the most important person in my life. He thinks I'm a sinner, so I must be a sinner. So that's when the issue comes in is how do you think God, or does God, but, but God sees you beyond where you are now. So God sees you as a saint. God knows what he created you to be. So God doesn't see God sees, you know, he doesn't stand in time. So he sees where he wants you to be, the path he has for you. You know, we may have turned and, and not even got there yet and wallowing down here and focusing on the wrong things. But he sees us as this, even though we're not there yet. <laughs> so God sees intention? us as a saint. Because, is it because of our intention? Because our intention is right, going the right direction? Well, because... This is what he created us to be. Okay. So our intention may not, so some people may never get there. As long as you're going there, you're, you're trying, right? I mean, some people may not be trying. Some people may never make it there. But God still sees them as here because this okay. is where he created them. Mm -hmm. right. So he's just looking at them going, what are you doing down there? You're, you're not that. You know, you're here a in the mud. You're not a pig. You see yourself as a pig. You think I see you as a pig, but no, I see you as this. So I'm just, so he's sitting up there going, what are you doing down there? So he doesn't see us as, oh, this, this is where you are. He sees us as this. And he's just wondering why we're doing the stuff we're doing when we are th this, where he has us to be. He says, I created you as a saint. I created you to be here. So some people will never reach that. But God still sees you as that because that's where he created you to be. And knowing that helps us to get there, I think. Right. Exactly. Knowing so that if you that know, God considers us highly, like that song says, He loved me so much, He, he cared, He cared, what's that song called? He, he thought I was worth saving. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thought, I thought I was to die for. Thought I was to die for. die for. That's, yeah. that, that makes you feel good. Yeah. Wow. It's a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, There's another one that says, I'm a good, He's a good, good father. That's who He is, who He is. Yeah. And I'm loved by Him. That's who I am. So it's like, That's who I Define myself as. That picks you up right there. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a, a failure. I'm not a loser. I'm not a drunkard. I'm not a cheater. I'm not a this. I'm loved by God. Right. Mm -hmm. It's like, so God is saying, this is what I want. This is where I see you. But you see yourself as here and you're behaving like you're down here. But he still sees us higher than where we are. But we're viewing God as seeing us as something lower and so we're conforming to that so that's a problem so that's why I say we're saints to sometimes fall so not that you know I'm saying I'm perfect or not that you think you are perfect or not that you necessarily need to go and tell non-believers <laughs> that you're a saint or, <laughs> or go around really telling dangerous. people you're a saint but yeah. that's how you should yeah. view yourself and then mm -hmm. you'll lift yourself up to mm -hmm. that standard it's not necessarily what you tell other people it's the standard you hold yourself accountable You're to. You walk. Right. right. And so I'm not saying I'm there. I'm, I mean, this is lessons for me as well. This is where I need to get to. And so <clears throat> this is so that basic point is, yeah, so you get saved believing in Jesus. You get changed believing that Jesus believes in you. Awesome.